Hey everybody, welcome back to the best U.S. Men News channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is September 30th, 2024. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the 230th anniversary high relief gold coin. That's right. We're also going to be sussing out the mintages and the price. But before any of that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. It's a mighty big number. Not sure exactly what that number is, but it's got to be ginormous. Also, these fine folks here, they're members. Yeah, you can be one too. It's $1.99 a month. Not much. It's like a cup of coffee per month. Once a month. Now here we find ourselves at moneymetals.com. Looks like gold down $9.15, 26.59.80. Silver down 18 pennies to 31.62. Platinum down Wow, look at that. Fourteen eighty five to just under a thousand dollars at nine ninety five oh five. And palladium down seven ninety to ten forty four twenty. Dr. Copper's above four sixty again. Would you see that? That's amazing. At four sixty two. You're looking at it in stock American Silver Eagle, whose premium is six ninety nine. And I think that's been over a week now that we've seen that premium. Uh, lower than seven fifty nine, and it's way better than sixteen or seventeen or eighteen dollars, right? Now, for a quantity of one through thirty nine, you'll be paying thirty eight sixty, and they will buy those back for thirty three thirty two each. Now, if you bought a bunch at twelve bucks, that might make sense, right? Now, over here to the United States Mint bullion sales, and seeing how this is the last day for September, we could see some additional numbers added today, but probably by the end of the week. Now let's go here to the mint's product schedule. As you can see here, we've landed at the end of the year. This is November 14, 2024 for product 24YG, minted out of West Point, New York. And that's easily probably going to be the most expensive coin this year from the United States Mint. And it's got these V75 vibes only because, well, I got to show you, you won't even believe it. Now here we go. It says TBD for the price. It says household order limit of one. It says it's going to be November 14 at noon. And thank goodness this particular coin is not going to be dropped the very same day as the silver medal, right? Because that would be a bummer in the summer. They've done that to us before uh, during the V75 drop. And remember, you had to pick one or the other. Well, I didn't get the gold coin, but I was able to pick the V75 silver uh, eagle up so that was that was fantastic but let's really um kind of try and suss out the mintages here so here we go we're going to find ourselves over wikipedia this is the american liberty high relief gold coin and i'm using this because i believe this is what the um program was born out of uh they were going to make this anniversary flowing here uh high relief gold coin part of the american liberty series and then they said well you know what let's make more than just the flowing hair anniversary coin so there's going to be uh probably the mercury dime design and so on and so forth maybe cap bust we don't know what the mint is going to do but we do know that they're looking back at their older designs and remitting them in metals mm, I, i'd say that with a lump in my throat and gold coins high relief gold coins that is now let's go here to the design here we go now we find here the year the description and the production numbers and as you can see since 2021 for the Mustang horse bucking off the saddle and that bristlecone pine, both of these won coin of the year, right? This was the uh, coin of the year for uh, the gold coin, and I believe this won uh, coin of the year across the boards, if I'm not mistaken. Now, look at the mintages over here, 12,500. That's not a whole lot of folks. It really isn't in the grand scheme of things. Look at the, um, look at that, 2017, 100,000. Yeah, 2019, 50, and then 2015, 50. That is remarkable, folks. However, there's a little something going on here that the Mint has done that may make these even more valuable um, than just your regular coin, because you, you won't even believe it. Now, that is the mintages, all right? Let's suss out the price real quick here. All right, here we find ourselves at the Google machine. I put here US Mint 2024 pricing grid, and then you scroll down, and then you get to this bad boy right here. So it'll bring up an Adobe file. As you can see, it says 2024 pricing of numas numismatic gold, commemorative gold platinum and palladium products and can can you see um a precious metal that's not listed on here yeah that's right silver is not listed on their pricing grid because that would be too much transparency i would imagine now let's just say the gold coin dropped today we're at 2650 or thereabouts all right now as you can see there's the american buffalo one ounce proof there's the american eagle one ounce and then the uh, american eagle gold proof uh, uncirculated right there and then the smaller denominations half ounce quarter ounce tenth ounce then the four coin gold set the one ounce palladium and then the one ounce platinum right now we have here the american liberty and i think that's exactly what this is going to fall under this program this is the american liberty for mintages and prices because i don't see any 2024 pricing for that particular uh flowing hair high relief gold coin and if i do go to the far right on this particular pricing grid i don't see any all right 
any American liberty right there. Mm -hmm. That's the 10th house. Commemorative, commemorative, commemorative. First spouse, first spouse. Oh, look at that. Liberty Britannia. International Collaboration, one ounce, 24 karat gold. And that would have been actually the most expensive gold coin dropped if it dropped today at 3,670 because the American Liberty would be 3,615. Obviously, $85 difference there. Um, it, it isn't that interesting because if you compare and contrast the prices for the American Eagles, well, golly wally, all right, the gold proof coin for one ounce is 3550 and we're at 3615 here. So the American Liberty is clearly going to be one of the most expensive uh, gold drops ever in the history of the United States Mint. Uh, so that's probably going to be the most expensive coin uh, they've ever sold over at the United States Mint is that 230th anniversary flowing hair gold coin. That's it, right? So let's keep on over here. This is really cool. I think this is called Pure, and this is by Trey Benedict. I really like this guy. I uh, really want to actually uh, interview him for the uh, the show. Title of this article he's written is 2024 U.S. Mint Product Release Details, 230th Anniversary Flowing Hair Gold Coin Product 24YG. All right, that's all well and good. Now, this is what we know so far about the 230th Anniversary Flowing Hair Gold Coin. That's the high relief action, right? And now he's got an edit for September 16th and an edit for September 26th, which was about four days ago now. So you know he's keeping on top of things. Now he says here the release date has been set for November 14, 2024 at noon Eastern time. Household order limit has now been set, has changed to one coin. And that's really for the um, the silver coin mostly, because I think the gold coin uh, may have been won the whole time. But I could easily have been mistaken. But check this out. Come on. Yeah, the design may also be altered, adding a 230 privy mark to the right field. Now, could you imagine if the gold coin had that privy mark as well? What? Yes, please. Yeah, that would be something. That would be really, really awesome if we could see that 230th anniversary flowing hair gold coin have the privy mark as well. Uh, and what? And look, okay, so here, here's the thing. The United States Mint is producing the silver metal, and I could go over probably to the uh, silver metal here, all right, and if you haven't found out, you got to see yesterday's video or two days ago or whatever it was. Out of the 75,000, 1,794 are going to have a 230th privy mark, and that is right here, okay? And it's not loading. I don't know why. There we go, 230th. But as you can see, other coins will not have that. Well, that's kind of remarkable, actually, and that kind of makes this coin with a 230th anniversary privy mark, well, a bit of an insert and that most people will be chasing. And when I mean chasing, I mean that's the one they want. They might buy this just to get that. And what happens if they don't get the 230th anniversary privy mark and they get the standardized one with no privy mark, right? What what then? Um, I imagine, I do imagine that a lot of people, and I'm not saying, you know, uh, less than, you know, 1,800 of the 75,000 are going to be sold back into the uh, uh, secondary market, but I would imagine a good portion of this product limit will be sold back onto eBay if people don't pick up that 230th anniversary preview mark. Now, could that same thing be possible for that gold coin? I don't know. That's a really good question. I mean, uh, it is a gold coin, and it's going to have a low mintage, right? Uh, about 12,500, I would imagine, maybe less. And, well, it's going to be rather expensive as well. We'll see how this all pans out. It says here, uh, new details and design. 230th anniversary flowing hair gold coin will feature an original 1794 flowing hair design with a lettered edge that includes a face value and motto. This is like the original design, which has a face value set on the edge as well. A striking move in the 18th century. There you go. Bam! And they only struck 1794 until they got larger presses, right? Um, they could have done more. And what's, wait, 1794? No, it was like 1758 or something like that. They didn't really produce that many. And I thought it was interesting. Maybe, just maybe, the United States Mint will make 1758 of these to correspond with the exact number uh, they minted um, that very first that very first um, uh, time they ever saw that particular coin, uh, that 1794. Wouldn't that be something? That would make this thing very, very special and highly sought after, no doubt about it really uh is is remarkable uh let's see here i think that's going to be it um yeah it says here look at this look at this here we go the mintage of the 230th anniversary flowing hair gold coin is not even known but prior american liberty high relief series have seen mintages at thirteen thousand. all right for high relief and the prior year liberty britannia high relief capped out at just 5500 pieces the rarest in modern times that's right it's the rarest modern hundred dollar gold coin at the united states mint no doubt about it so this this 
person. Uh, what's his name again? Uh, missed it. Um, and the winner is that guy, Trey Benedict. He really knows this stuff. Now let's bounce over here to eBay and look at the prices. That's right. So a few days ago, we did this. We looked for the most expensive American, uh, the, the flowing hair, right? The most expensive one was about four and a half thousand dollars. Well, look at this. It's at seven and a half thousand dollars now. And these are pre-sales and they are a proof 70. Okay. So that's the highest grade you can get. However, um, if you do look for a privy mark on these gold coins, you will not find one of them. Look at that. Proof 70 is 6,500. Yeah. And what did I tell you the price on the pricing grid would be? Anywhere is between 3,615 and 3,965. That's a $500 difference almost here, maybe four and a half between the two uh, different prices on the average price per ounce. Isn't that something? That's a whole lot of money. Now, let me, let's go here to the silver. Now, th what I'm going to demonstrate here is that, you know, once the, um, the folks found out that 1,794 of the medals will feature a 230th anniversary privy mark, well, a lot of these ones that did feature the privy mark were taken down off of eBay. But another thing also happened. The price for the um, anniversary, 230th anniversary flowing hair metal that didn't have the privy mark came down that's right so look at this then we're in a mid-state 70 here and here this is ngc and this is pcgs and the price is relatively the same i mean you can't really get any closer 187.50 188.88 what yeah it, remarkable isn't it now let's go here the one down is 205 207 193 that's september 29 look at that 172 and that's a mid-state 70 folks that is it somebody got a deal there obviously um 194.99 that's a mid-state 70 209 but let's go a little further back in the way back 239 there for a first release mid-state 70 let's keep on going way back look at that september 29 for 134 for mid-state 69 that brings up all kinds of questions because if yours because look generally speaking if you get a mid-state 69 coin or metal generally speaking it's worth retail so if you bought this for 104 you're probably going to be able to sell a mint state 69 for 104 so to me this is about 35 dollars 30 dollars over what they probably uh would have sold here in about six months to a year uh let's keep on keeping on 129 there for september 28 but let's go a little bit further back shall we before we knew anything about the privy mark and how many would have a privy mark um here 20 these are selling like hotcakes right look at that 25th here we go 23rd 239 best offer 25th 149 168 204 168 191 229 205 229 here we go 200 so we were clearly in in the mid twos uh for a lot of them before that look at this 186 168 here we go 229 229 what yowza 219 249 and that's raw it looks like uh, 219. So I I think prices, well, did they come down? Are they the same? I honestly think that prices, well, it looks like they've gone up, even though, right? Even though we've got that information. Isn't that something? So people really want this coin or metal rather because they're paying. Well, look at that. I just can't even believe that in a 69. Um, I think people are willing to pay $200, 180 for this particular coin in a mid-state 70. And I think that's probably going to be the going rate. Now, don't even ask me what the price is going to be for this when it comes to that Privy Mark gold coin and the if they have it and the Privy Mark silver metal. That's just going to be outrageous. Now, let's keep on keeping on. I'm running out of time. This is Proverbs 14.34. It says, Charity will uplift a nation, but the kindness of the regimes is a sin. Now, basically, what I think that means, it's a sin for regimes to rob from one group in order to dispense kindness to other groups. Yeah, that's messed up. That's whack. All right, over here to 3 nines, fine, 99.9 KOI and Coinage Radio. This is Super Tramp from the Breakfast in America album, and this is called Goodbye Stranger. Great song, one of my favorites. Uh, had this on LP way back when in the early 80s. Now that's, uh, that's it for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, and also go check out the comments uh, for any of these two videos here. They are um, they're pretty wild. They really are. Now, with that said, folks, I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, sub the channel. It's absolutely free. If you want to spend a little dig, well, it's $1.99 a month to become a member. And it really helps me pump these videos out each and every single day. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and also, I'll be starting a new coin show, maybe two of them, coming soon. Stack her out.